Hey guys, John here with Sergeant Rich. Thanks for joining me. I'm in the truck. So you know what that means. If I'm in the truck, I'm getting ready to go somewhere. I've just gotten back. Well, this time, I'm getting ready to head out somewhere. We are going to be checking out a collection of G.I. Joe, Star Wars, and some other random toys. Um, basically, long story short, I was sitting over at the shop. I had the asphalt guys there. Um, they were doing their asphalt work. Basically, we had some issues with water seeping underneath the, um, the deck from the, the new drainage pattern. And it was causing water to seep into the basement there. So they came out and they regraded re a couple areas to make the water flow around that and go down to the road like it's supposed to. Uh, we checked it with a hose. It seemed to work. So hopefully uh, we won't have any issues with that. But while I was there waiting, I did receive an email from a gentleman who said that he had a collection of uh, some vintage toys and asked if I'd be interested in them. So sent me a couple pictures. There's a Sky Striker, a bunch of G.I. Joe figures. He says he has some... Um, Star Wars, some other random stuff, some Hot Wheels and things of that nature. So I sent him an email back, asked him, hey, yeah, probably interested in it. What are you asking for? Where are you located? He said, oh, I'm down to Detroit. I'm visiting my family from the uh, Chicago area. And honestly, I was just going to ask for shipping costs or you could just have them if you want to meet. So I was like, okay, free toys. Can't beat that. So what we're going to do is we're going to drive down, check this out, um, and see what he has. It's actually pretty funny because that last collection I just picked up down in Detroit with Brian was a gentleman who was visiting his parents from California who was basically, they were clearing out their house, getting ready to move, I guess, and they had all those little toys. So this gentleman is a little bit closer from Chicago, came over here um, and reached out to us. So we're going to check it out, uh, see what he has, and uh, we'll, we'll go from there. All right, guys, so we're here. Um, I got here a little early. Uh, the gentleman should be here in about 10 minutes, but um, it is a good location to meet, and I'll show you why. I am uh, probably in the safest parking lot in Detroit right now. We have, there's three cruisers there and there's one in front of that building. I'm not sure what they're doing. Maybe they're on lunch break or, or whatever. I can't imagine they'd have that many cruisers here um, otherwise because they're not very tactically parked. All right, guys, so we're here in Detroit. Here's the collection. Um, see, we've parked where all the police cars were. I saw those police cars here. I was like, I, was like, I don't know why they're all here. I was like, did you guys know? Nope. So. <laughs> So this is Tim and Betsy, Betsy okay. And these are you guys' toys from when you were kids, right? Yeah. So you have some G.I. Joe. Um, this is Star Wars, that's a cloud car. The cloud car, we just, uh, cloud, cloud car, car horrible. Car, yeah. Horrible, horrible yeah. figure. Yeah. <laughs> and we have this, uh, how old is this thing? This is a, That's an old, uh, old bucket, but you got a bunch of cool stuff in here. You got some little dinosaurs, we got some muscle men. Um, the cuties, right? That's what those yeah, ones are called? We used to use them for target practice. <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> what kind of target practice? <laughs> rubber band guns. Oh, all right. I was going to say, I don't see any holes in them. <laughs> They're all in one piece. Cool. So then you got, this guy's neat. Was it one of those erasers? Let's see. Yeah. Um, what is that? I think it's just an eraser, kind of like these dinosaur ones. They have the, I saw one in here. Yep, dinosaur eraser. So that's some cool stuff. And then okay. this other stuff here is all Fisher Price. Now you guys are basically you're just clearing out mom and dad's attic, it yeah, sounds like. Helping them clear it out. Yeah. I'm glad you climbed in them because normally I'll go in the attics and they're sweltering hot this time of year. So, <laughs> all right, here so we have some Fisher Price stuff. All right, I remember this, the uh, Alpha Probe. Yeah. Get the Alpha Star. This little fella. So definitely some cool stuff. And you said you have some more stuff you might be digging out and uh, yeah, hopefully. So hey hey, more toys the merrier, right? can't not have fun selling toys, right? That's right. So, you got a bunch of the adventure people. And you said you took these camping? Yeah, we used to camping. We'd set up the tent, and then we'd set up these guys next to the tent, and they'd be camping with us. Yep. Yeah. You were very gentle with your toys. Well, <laughs> other than other than shooting them, I mean, I guess we, that, we'll yeah. have to take that part into account, right? Yeah. So, and this here is... This goes back the Fisher Price some Fisher Price stuff. stuff. All right, cool. Little. Barn that moves. Yeah. Yeah, and then, and then we made a kitchen set for my like you know, kitchen yeah. sink. Very, very handy. And, this, and here's the refrigerator. Oh, here's here's the toilet too. You can oh, the toilet. Have you, you didn't use that, right? No, well, the, well, the, uh, the people use it. I mean, like, you didn't use it. I'm hoping. <laughs> we got some stinky Fisher Price here. Then we have the Hot Wheels sets here. Some cool Hot Wheels stuff. Yeah, let's go. Let's see what uh, let's see what's got in here. These things were fun. I remember having this one. So there was multiple ones. This one. And there was one that was a construction site one and a bunch of different play sets. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, that pops up. I think it's the bank. No, that's the bank. It's the hospital up there. Yep. Yeah. So, let us get the bell still works. Nice. It's pretty neat. That the elevator probably still works. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing a little love here. Yeah. Nothing a little elbow grease can't fix. There you go. So cool. This is definitely some neat stuff. It brings back a lot of memories. That's the best part about sure. doing this is just, you know, when we were kids, it was a simpler time. And it's just, <laughs> nowadays, it's like you just don't pay attention to what's going on in the world now. You just remember the toys and what we used to have. And 
feel like you get one toy and you just play with it. That was it. Like, I would have one favorite toy, and I just, you know, you'd, you'd play with it, tear it apart, and then you'd leave it to your brother and my mom, and they'd donate it all and <laughs> yeah. destroy it all. Thanks, Pat. I still remember yeah, my little brother destroyed all my toys. All right, thanks, sir. And then what we have here. Now, this is like, this is some uh, custom art, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, your dad did this? Our dad, Our dad is, a, you know, he's a, he likes to draw, so yeah. he did that. Yeah. Cool. Some whole, more Fisher uh, Price stuff here. Site. So it has the, the dump oh, truck in it. Cool. Yeah. Same one he drew on the front, yeah. Yeah. That's some awesome stuff. So yeah. Now, which one was your favorite out of this stuff here? Did you guys have a favorite? Oh, just all of it together. You put it all together and yeah. play with it. That's yeah. the thing. You can make the G.I. Joe's assault the, uh, you know, the construction workers yeah. and all that stuff. That's yeah. what I used to do. I'd yeah. mix and match toys. and. Oh, yeah. Fisher Price and the G.I. Joe, they go together with the Star Wars yep. as well. Yep. You know, if you need a plane, you just pop it exactly. in. Exactly. Like, then you get the Hot Wheels out. Like, yeah. Yep. I remember just, I never would play with just one line. It would mix and match everything. It just makes it more fun. You use your imagination until you go to town. So, cool. All right, guys. Well, uh, I'm going to give you some cash for all this stuff, and we'll... Uh, We'll go from there. But, yeah, if you find any more stuff, and make sure you check us out on the YouTube channel. So you guys will be on there. All right. <laughs> cool. All right, guys. Well, we just uh, picked up that collection. Like I said, they offered it for free, but I didn't feel comfortable taking it for free, so I did give them some money for it. Um, they were very happy. They said they're going to be digging up some more stuff, um, and hopefully they'll let me know, and I can come down and meet them and, and, and pick that stuff up too. But we'll go through it in a little more detail. Um, there's not a huge collection, a lot of Fisher-Price stuff. Um, some cool G.I. Joe stuff. There's a one cloud car looked like the only Star Wars thing, but the muscle men are really cool I mean who doesn't remember playing with muscle men and it was funny because they were talking about shooting them with rubber bands And I remember do the same thing. That was just something I think everybody with muscle men did so We're gonna head back um, Go through this stuff in a little better detail and get sorted north, cleaned toward East eight mile road. And we're gonna eight head north road. towards East 8 mile road. All right guys until next time Sarge out, and if you haven't already, make sure you like, follow, subscribe, share, and all that fun jazz is required to say when you're on YouTube. Alright guys, here are the toys. These are the boxes that they came in. One of the things I always like to do when I pick up an old Attic Fresh collection is look at the old boxes, right? So you have this one here that has the cool graphics. It's Nursery Originals. Not quite sure who that is, that company. I'll, I'll do a little research and see if I can't figure out what they, what kind of stuff they sold. But I know a lot of this stuff... Um, maybe not necessarily nursery originals, but people collect these old chipper boxes. So I have some G.I. Joe ones and some Star Wars ones from the 80s house. There's Pamper ones I have. All kinds of old boxes. Um, a lot of this stuff goes to one collectors like the G.I. Joe and Star Wars, just completionists who want to have everything. You know, and those are really rare because you think this kind of stuff got thrown away. You know, this was even more rare than finding a toy in the box most of the time because this stuff got tossed before the, the toy box would, right? So, a lot of that stuff is collectors, and a lot of it actually, believe it or not, goes to prop studios. If you remember, I found all those, um, let's look at these other boxes real quick. There's nothing on this one. This one's just an old movie box. If you recall, I found the, um, all those McDonald's cartons, right? I've been selling those to prop houses across the country. Like, when I sell them, I'll, I'll look at the shipping address, and it's always prop department. For the most part. I mean, you obviously have some collectors. Now, this one's cool. This one's a Lego, uh, shipper crate. I'm not sure the age of this one. Probably... Let's see, because if you look at the top, this says Tim's G.I. Joe's Pack 7790. So I'm assuming this was packed up in the 90s, so maybe 90s era Lego logo. So I don't know if they're Legos. If they're, if they're Legos. If Lego's logo changed, I'll have to do a little bit of research. But then we have this LL Bean box. It's an old shoe box. It's really cool looking. I don't know how old it is. I don't see any dates on it, but um, it's an older label. Neat looking box. Again. A lot of times this stuff can go for um, prop houses. Obviously it has some writing on it and things of that nature, but it's still a cool piece if you're really into L.L. Bean or you have a play you're doing or a TV show you're putting on and you need something old to fit the theme, the time. All right, and this last box here is nothing on it. It's just a, a shipper box. But the one thing I thought was cool, and you probably saw it in the beginning of the video, is this old Mellow Made ice cream tub. Just cool looking, right? It's got like a is a general custer supposed to be him or something. I don't see any expiration dates. That's what I was looking for to see how old this was. But if you remember Mellow Made ice cream, let me know. I don't remember ever eating this brand. I'm just looking at the graphics on it and everything. It probably is from the uh, 80s, early 90s. So if you know what Mellow Made is, let me know. Oh, it looks like there's some numbers there. I can't make it out. Two five eight. I don't. That's not an expiration date. So. Anyways, guys, we're going to get into this stuff um, and check it out in a little more detail. Some cool stuff here. I'm glad these aren't files. 
All right, we're going to start off with Fisher Price. 99.9% .9 of you probably had something from Fisher Price growing up, whether it was this barn, uh, Fisher Price playset, whether it was one of the pull behind toys, whether it was little people. Uh, I'm sure you had something growing up. So, this here is a Fisher Price. Um, play Family Farm, and there's ways you can tell how old these things are. One of the ways, if there's not a copyright date on it, is by this logo here. So this logo here was introduced in 62 and went through to about 71, um, and then they use different logos throughout the years. So that's one way you could tell. Also, you will have copyright dates on most of this stuff, and this one here is no different, 1968. So that falls into the realm of when this one was produced. So Fisher-Price Farm, you got the top opens up, and we have the farmer. And his wife. Now this is how little people are made, apparently, up in the barn. So let's see. These ones here are plastic and plastic. So there's different um, eras of Fisher Price little people as well. So these ones are plastic head and plastic body. So they're all plastic. These ones came out in the 70s, like 75, um, 74, that era. Different ones had different release dates and different materials. But the all plastic ones came out in the, the mid-70s. And then you had the wood ones that were from like the early 60s through the 70s. Um, and then you had some that had wood bodies and plastic heads. So we'll see if we have some of those variations here. And then the really old ones are cardboard um, with like kind of a rolled, uh, what's it called, like lithograph paper on them to give you the design. So inside the barn, we have cart. And this stuff needs to be cleaned up, but nothing a little soap and water can't fix. We have the rooster. Trough. So this has a lot of the pieces in there. We have the tractor. We have a horse. Is this a, even Fisher Price? No, this is the uh, Burger King. So this is newer. This is from 2002. So I know the, uh, the gentleman I got this from said his kids are playing with this stuff too, so there might be some newer stuff in the bags. Is that a calico critter? And then we have the sheep. Count those, right? We'll start falling asleep. And we have a little pig. We have this horse. Yeah, what else do we have in here? That, that, that tractor's trying to roll away. That's I'm like looking over there. It's uh, sliding down my card catalog from here. Uh, we have the cow. We have the farmer's brother. Oh man, I think that's the little boy. We have the chicken, cow, some more fence pieces, and the dog. And then you can look in there and you can see all the uh, cool stickers and stuff in there and we're going to store them in this handy dandy silo instead of trying to cram them all back in there so it's it's nice because you have somewhere you can put all the the figures we won't put that calico critter back in there and that horse doesn't go with fisher price so i'll try to keep this stuff a little bit sorted um, as we go make it a little bit easier for me down the road when i have to go through and uh, get all this stuff sorted and put together so but yeah pretty neat you can put the guys in there they got a lot of storage and it's just a fun little place that's for kids to play with All right, so we have some more Fisher Price stuff in this box, and we'll go through this stuff. We have some of the cars. Actually, it's funny. I found one of these at the novelty shop. Um, it was actually out back under some dirt, so I'm assuming it came from when it was a uh, daycare center. Now we have some uh, homemade ingenuity here. They made these themselves. A little creativity, which is pretty neat. You know, stuff like that. If I guess I'm going to have this in the shop to sell the set, I'll probably just put these with it. It's, it's neat to have... Uh, look at some of this stuff that people used to do. I mean, how creative were these guys when they were kids that they made their own little people furniture. Even the little person toilet. So that's pretty neat. That's, that's, that's cool. It's a neat little set of a... Uh, I guess you'd call it art, right? Baby crib. Alright, let's just go through this real quick. So we do have some of the um, Sesame Street characters. We have Big Bird and Cookie Monster. Bert. And Ernie. Um, and then that's Bob, I think his name is, right? From Sesame Street and Maria, if I remember correctly. It's been a while since I've watched Sesame Street. And then we just have some, uh, that's, uh, what's his name? He's the guy that had the store. That's another Sesame Street figure. And here's just some random kids. I'm trying to find any different variations. This one's plastic, plastic. This is not a little person. I don't know if that's homemade or if that's just a knockoff. I'm not sure what that is. It's cool looking. Um, plastic. Okay, here we go. So this kid here is wood. He's got a wooden body and a wooden head. 
So that would make him an older one. He's from the 60s to the early 70s. And you could just tell it's just uh, made out of wood. Now, some of the, the accoutrements, like the hats, and some of these guys had arms that were made out of, made out of plastic. Um, anyways, that's the little person stuff. I'm going to get that stuff put away and go through the next box. So... Everyone had a Fisher Price. Let us know in the comments below if you remember playing with your Fisher Price toys. That's the one thing I found. Fisher Price does not necessarily sell as well as action figures because I think a lot of people are buying toys because it's things they remember playing with when they were kids. And while I know I had Fisher Price and I probably have some vague memories of playing with it, I don't have any super like nostalgic memories of playing with Fisher Price toys just because I was too young. So, anyways, guys, let me know in the comments below. Did you have Fisher Price? Do you remember playing with it? And which ones did you have? All right, next up we have this Nursery Originals box, which I didn't realize at the time, but uh, apparently it was a lampshade. Caution, avoid damage, unpackage. Unpacking, not unpackage. Do not pull a lamp by time. Cool, all right. If you had a Nursery Originals lamp, let us know. I'll see if I can find one online to show you um, a comparison or show you what it looks like. Anyways, Fisher Price Adventure People. These came out from like 75 to 85. And these were meant to be for a little bit older kids. And it was kind of a transitional toy, in my opinion, between cool action figures and the uh, little people. So you had a bunch of different sets. You had um, the Ranger. You had stunt motorcycle guys. You had scuba divers. You had TV crews. You had all kinds of stuff. Uh, outer space stuff. So this one here, I think this is the Ranger, right? I don't know all these sets. I'm not super familiar with the uh, little people, like the different sets. I normally don't really... Do too much with Fisher Price toys, um, but they are cool. That guy's cool. Octopus, put him up there. Now I know when you're looking this stuff up, if you're trying to find out, you know what set goes to what. A lot of times you can just go look up online. You can put in little people and then the number. So you got 307, you got 318, and that'll pop up. But there's a lot of web resources for pretty much any toy, including Fisher Price, um, where you can find out what stuff goes with what. You got a little van there, or a little jeep rather. This is not Fisher Price, that's just a little. That was a horrible cheetah voice, but. Um, here's the, the little tent. What else do we have in here? Um, does this go with the Fisher Price space set? I'm not sure. A couple more of these little plastic animals. So here's one of the Fisher Price adventure people. Like I was saying, they're a little more detailed than the little people. Um, they actually have arms and legs that move. Their heads will turn side to side and go up and down. A lot of times the necks get really loose. Um, like where they won't even stay up. Like this uh, seedy looking character. What else do we have in here? So we have the boat. The spotlight's still on it. Looks like uh, something busted off there. We have a little treasure chest. The octopus probably goes with this. Which is neat. The helicopter. And this one you'd pull this and uh, it would actually spin. So you could fly your little people to their next adventure. And here's the submarine that looks like that guy's dead or sleeping. But again, their necks uh, just don't hold up all that well. So, And this one has a claw. You'd pinch those and the claw would open and close. And this is the Ranger vehicle. And I don't think this goes with these. Yeah, that's that's from a Buddy L truck. I have one. It's like a Coke truck, and those go in it. Um, sleeping bag. What else do we have in here? We have a kayak. A couple more little people. Little people. That goes with the um, helicopter. There's another octopus. That's pretty cool looking. A little translucent octopus. A couple other small animals. Um, I don't think that goes to a little person. Was it? I don't know. I'll have to figure it out. So, that's it for the adventure people. I don't see any that are extremely rare. Most of these are just common figures. So, all right, let me get this stuff put away and we'll go through the next box. Don't worry, guys, we're getting to the G.I. Joes. We're getting there. Okay, so, last two boxes of Fisher Price. This is the uh, one that was in the L.L. Bean box, the shoe box. And if you're an L.L. Bean collector or know anything about L.L. Bean, let us know uh, when that's from. Looks looks older. 
So what we have in here is, it looks like this is probably the complete um, lumber yard for the Fisher Price little people. You have the wood blocks, you have the construction guys, all the vehicles. It looks like most of the pieces are in there, if not all of them, so I'm not going to pull it all out right now. It's already neatly packed away. But that gives you an idea of what's in there. Go back in your home. That's where you live. All right. And then this last bin, or box rather, is the cool Fisher Fry stuff. And this is more of the Adventure People um, style stuff. What is this one from? 1982. So, maybe the canopy's in there. A little dusty, the stickers are still on it, but again, like I was saying, you could look them up if you type in, like on online, just Fisher Price 367 Jet. That should pull up. Then you have the space Fisher Price stuff. This stuff is cool. I mean, it almost doesn't even look like Fisher Price. Got a little lunar lander rover robot thing still in there. That's cool. And these things would have um, like batteries and they would light up. So, yep, you got the astronaut inside of there. Really neat. I love these ones. Th these are the only Fisher Price toys that I think are really cool. Look at that guy. That's cool. You could use that with He Man. You could use that with pretty much anything, and it's Fisher Price. And then we have the Astro Probe. Alpha Probe, rather. Alpha Probe, rather. Make the arms for him. It's fuel line. Okay, there's the canopy for the jet. Here's the alien dude. He's cool. I have the Alpha Star, the probe there. And that canopy goes to... What's that canopy go to? It goes to one of these. So, let me see if there's anything inside of the Alpha probe. Okay, I got a battery out of one of my smoke detectors. Just kidding. I always keep extra batteries on hand to test all this stuff. So the, the connections looked a little corroded, but let's see if it works. Yep. That's a long noise. Very long noise. What's this one? I wonder why I don't see many of these. I bet your parents smashed these. Oh, oh my. <laughs> Ah, that one doesn't do anything. Oh, there it goes. Cool. So we have a working Alpha Probe, and inside you do have the little uh, escape pod shuttle thing with the female astronaut inside. And then you have the uh, other gent in there driving it, flying it, I suppose. So, all right, let me get the battery out of this. As you guys know, you do not want to store toys with the batteries in them because they can corrode and leak acid into there and destroy it. But I'm actually surprised that worked. Because you can see how rusty and corrodive that is. All right, let's go through the last box. All right, so we're on to the last box, and then we still actually have this tub we're going to go through. But the box of mainly G.I. Joe's, it looks like I didn't really go through it all um, while we were there. But we're going to do that now. So I did see that there was the uh, cloud car which the last collection I just picked up actually had a nice cloud car that had the canopies. This one doesn't have the canopies, but the other one I picked up didn't have the stickers. So what I'll probably do is take the canopy off of that one and put it on this one, and then that'll make a nicer specimen overall. So it looks like this one's in better shape other than the missing canopies. Unless the canopies are in that box. So as you can see, we have a Sky Striker, which is in really nice shape. I mean, it has the stickers has the wings, has all the flaps. Um, this canopy is broken. We do have the parachute in there. But I have some other canopies from um, other Sky Strikers I have that are not in as nice of shape as this one. Looks like we have the missiles on it. So that thing's pretty darn near complete. All right, saving myself the trouble of trying to pull all this stuff out of the box. Um, I got it all spread out here so you can see what we have. Um, so we have the Moray, which is a really cool vehicle. It's got its missiles in there. Um, we got the Lamprey to get the driver for it. it. Looks like this is pretty complete. Um, then we have, what's this one here? This is Stinger. And I think I saw his driver. 
over here somewhere. Where is he at? I know I saw him when I was pulling it out. There he is. So, Stinger Driver. We get the Polar Battle Bear. Uh, we got the Skyhawk. And uh, what's that one? The Hal? The Flat Cannon? I forget. But it has all the accessories kind of baggied and taped to it, which is nice. These all look like they're pretty complete. If not complete, you got the missiles on there. Works. So these are all like from 83 through, I think, 85 era of G.I. Joe's. So we got all these vehicles. They all look like they're pretty darn complete, pretty good condition. The stickers are on there really good. And then we have, um, we have Zartan with the chameleon in there. He looks like he's in nice shape. You got a roadblock. Looks like his weapons are all in there. Uh, scrap iron. Looks like he's got most of his stuff. Cobra infantry. Uh, tripwire. We got Storm Shadow. Uh, that's one of the Dregnachs. I can't remember which one he is. What his name is. We got Snake Eyes. Side Viper, Quick Kick, Barbecue. I'm going to take these out of these baggies and put them in uh, some of the acid free baggies. But we got Spirit. And there's a baggie of uh, important looking stuff there. It looks like a bunch of the weapons to those figures. Yeah, there's Tripwire's Mind Pack. Um, yeah, so there's probably more figures. Because there's weapons in there that look like they're for other figures. Hopefully they find the rest. Oh, and we did have a couple GoBots in the, the box there. And I'm not even going to try to tell you what the GoBots' names are because, well, I don't really know much about GoBots as far as the uh, the names of all the characters and whatnot. But they look like they're in pretty decent condition. Still has both of his uh, windshields. That's good. So, and then this box has some more G.I. Joe accessories in small play sets. So, nope, oh, we got the motorcycle in there. Got the Silver Streak. You got the checkpoint. Yeah, cool. Got a bunch of little other snake in there. So, we got some more accessories and things in there. I'm not going to pull all that right out because I only have one hand. Those are the G.I. Joes. Pretty cool. I think the, the Sky Striker was missing the pilot. Um, but other than that, all this stuff looks pretty darn good, pretty complete. So last but not least, let's see what's in the old Mellow Made Texas 5 quart gallon gallons of quartz and ice cream with that guy. Alright, last but not least. I don't know why. Just the graphics on that bring me back to my childhood. I don't know why. I don't even know if this is from when I was a kid, but it looks like it. Just got that kind of look. Anyway, enough obsessing over the ice cream container. So, this is all a bunch of little figures. Oh, there we go. Some more, uh, it's like a homemade radio. That's cool. Kind of folk artsy. We got some jigglers. Who remembers getting these things when you were a kid? I'm going to eat you. All right, ready? That guy. This is all like stuff you'd get out of a, like a gumball machine type thing. I remember way back. I remember playing with all this stuff. These dinosaurs. Just, I love these little hollow like monsters. Those are, those are cool. Crab. Some more. That's like some homemade skateboard stuff. That's cool. Radical. It's like a hoverboard or something, man. That's sweet. And you got this kid. He's uh, missing his wheels. So he went to maybe a toy plane. Ooh, ooh, ah! Who didn't have a giant grasshopper as a kid? I know I did. Awesome. Garfield, a little squishy thing. Get some of the uh, darlings, I think is what those ones are called. Another little kind of jiggler monster. A lobster? I don't know why. I was going down the Facebook, uh, or the YouTube, rather. A rabbit hole and you know it gives you the videos of what's next and there was one that popped up do lobsters live forever and when how they molted and blah 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 they don't apparently live forever i never heard that they live forever so it's kind of interesting to see you got a frog another one of these little gumball machine guys Ooh, ooh, wait wait ah it's annoyed but he's missing his ears oh man a little muscle man with a hook through his eyeball Yep. So I'm just going to dump this stuff out. All right, much better. Dumped them all out easier to go through. So we got Muscle Men. Who doesn't love Muscle Men? These guys are awesome. And cuties, not darlings. I was wrong. Those are uh, cuties, actually. I don't know why I called them darlings. 
We have some of these little like alien eraser robot guys. Probably unbranded on most of them. I know uh, Dinar made some of them. Like that one, yeah, that's a Dinar Industries one. And they made a lot of those little rubber figures and erasers and monsters and stuff. They're just cool looking. Setting those up to have something to look at. Some more of these erasers. I know you all had those, the plastic dinosaurs. There's a surfboard. We got a boogie. Those are the homemade ones, kind of the folk artsy stuff. Oh, there's a, um, that's a bullet to a cap gun. Well, not a cap gun, but like a toy gun. And some more muscle men. What the heck is going on here? That's like a Fisher Price piece. Uh, it's got some plastic melt. Sometimes plastic, but it sticks on something. I don't know if it's a chemical reaction between different kinds of plastic, but it'll actually like fuse with it. You can see there, that's what happened with Mr. Turtle. Turtle looks like he uh, withheld, stood up to it, but this Fisher Price chair, I mean, you can see where stuff, different things have stuck to it. That's crazy. If you guys know why it does that, I'm assuming it's some sort of chemical reaction, but uh, let me know. Another eraser, some more of those little toys, we got a film canister. This is how you used to take pictures. There would be film in here, and you would put it into a camera, and you were limited how many pictures you could take by how many... Uh, Rolls of film you would have. Here's a Noid that has his ears. Cool. Some more muscle men, some more cuties. There's another Noid. There's two Noids with ears and one Noid without ears. Some more of the dino erasers. I love these dino erasers. I just love them. I don't know. It just brings me back to when I was a kid. Some more of these jigglers. Some more muscle men. Some more cuties. I think that's pretty much all that's in here. Is that kind of stuff. There's a clothespin. Another Jiggler monster. That one looks like he's missing an arm. But some pretty cool stuff here, guys. Monsters, dinosaurs. Oh, another Noid. There we go. Cool. Love the Noid. Domino's um, had the Avoid the Noid. I think the Noid's coming back, actually. I'll have to look. Pretty sure I saw somewhere that they're bringing him back. Oh, spider. I remember having all these like rubber bugs and stuff. Oh, see, this kid still has his wheels. The other one didn't. So that's that, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below. What was your favorite toy in here? Did you have Muscle Men? What is that? Okay, it's like a piece of carpet fiber. I didn't know what it was. Ugh. But um, anyways, did you have Muscle Men? Did you have some of these Dinar monsters, aliens? What's your favorite toys out of this lot? And uh, we'll go from there. Make sure you guys like, follow, subscribe, and share, and all that stuff I'm obligated to say as a YouTuber. As we are trying to go grow the channel, and I would really appreciate it if you could do that for us. And until next time, Sarge out. Okay, that was just me moving the camera. That wasn't some kind of funky editing.